Okay, now let's expand 3a plus b to the 5 completely. And to do that, we're going to need Pascal's triangle. And the row that we're going to need to use will be, of course, this row over here. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And, um, of course, note that we have the 5 here as an exponent, and 5 is the second number here. So we have the 1 and the 5, and over there also. That should indicate that uh, you have the right row. Okay, so now I'm just going to write down all these elements over here. So 1, then 3a plus, whoops, 3a to the 5, b to the 0 plus 5. Let me just alternate the colors again because I think they'll make more make things easier for everyone. So we get 5 times 3a to the power of 4 because from 5 we go down to 4 and the b goes from 0 to 1. Then we're going to add a 10. That'll be 10 times 3a to the 3 b squared. The 4 went on to 3, the 1 went up to 2. And we're going to alternate until this guy goes down to 0 and the 2 goes down to 5. So next element is again at 10. So we get 10 times 3a squared, b cubed. Now we have a 5. So we have 5, 3a to the 1, b to the 4. And the last term, of course, will be a 1. So we get 1 times 3a to 0. Oh, I'm running out of room again. b to the 5. There we go. That's a 3a, by the way. It's just squished there. Um, now let's expand everything. And for the first, uh, first term, 1 times 3a to the 5. 3 to the 5 is 243, and a to the 5 is just a to the 5. b to the 0 is 1. 1 times 1 times 243, a to the 5 is just this anyways. Then we're going to add 5 times 3, a to the 4 times b. Now 3 to the 4 is 81. a to the 4, b. Okay, so over here we get 10 times 3 to the 3 is 27, a cubed, b squared. I'll continue to simplify in the next step. And here we have 10 times 3 squared, 9 of course, 9a squared times b cubed. Then we have 5, oh this, this guy we can just simplify immediately. So that's just 5 times 3, 15, a to the 1, b to the 4. And the last element is just going to be straight out b to the 5. Because we get a 1 times 1, 3 to the a to the, sorry, 3 a to the 0, is just 1. 1 times b to the 5 is b to the 5. Okay, so now finally we can combine everything. And first element, well, just 243, a to the 5. Next element, 5 times 81 is 405, a to the 4, b. Now plus 10 times 27, 270, a to the 3, b squared. 10 times 9 is 90, so we get 90, a squared, b cubed, plus 15, a, b to the 4, plus b to the 5. That's it. And the whole thing combined is our final answer. And the full expanded version of 3a plus b to the 5.